of complimentary plastic bottles might not look like much, but just a single one of these hotel chains can produce hundreds of millions of these things every year. Now some Hawaii lawmakers want to do away with them entirely. Instead, opt to use bulk dispensers. As a um, notable tourism destination here in Hawaii, we also really have an opportunity to kind of put our money where our mouth is when we talk about um, how important the environment is and uh, how Hawaii wants to engage in more sustainable tourism. Representative Lowen and the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association say the industry is already adopting these practices. Marriott has pledged to phase out single-use plastic bottles worldwide by the end of the year, something Hyatt did last year. Certainly the spirit of this particular bill or these series of legislative measures uh, is something that uh, we don't really have an issue with. It's all about timing. It's all about making sure that uh, there's an understanding of the fact that uh, every hotel chain, every hotel brand is different. The bill would prohibit hotels with 50 or more beds from handing out personal care products and small plastic bottles in 2024 and 2025 for lodging with fewer than 50 beds. Lowen says they'd be willing to push that further. But with each month that passes, more plastic is added to Hawaii's landfills. There was a research uh, study that was done that over 300,000 pieces of single-use plastic are used by like one sort of general 200-room four-star hotel every month. Or burned at H power. They're not able to biodegrade in any way, shape, or form. And the vast majority of them, especially when you're looking at the hospitality industry, are not being recycled. So again, headed directly for the landfill on our neighbor islands or H power on Oahu. And when you're burning plastics, uh, it's releasing a lot of very harmful chemicals into our environment. Now the bill has passed its first reading and will be heard in the Energy and Environmental Protection as well as the Tourism and Labor Committees on Thursday. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.